so we're right to go. Red light turned on, race nine, Brisbane. Last favourite, Saxton Rock racing now. Saxton Rock away well with Tat C. Third early is Alpine Dancer. Riverfly is going forward, passing both Holbrook and Captivator. Get stuck in, trap right off the track, going forward. Likewise, Brains passing the Grey Lerma Tam. And the final three, Magstock, Barefoot, Travis D. But Saxon Rock led the way here from Riverfly. Three wide third, Get Stuck in. Fourth, the fence is Tat C. Fifth, the outside, Captivator. A length and a half to Alpine Dancer. Brains out three wide. Holbrook Brook between them, the Grey Lerma turn on the fence and three lengths further back to Magstock and four further back to Barefoot, second last. And Travis says she's last on the outside and must be 13 to 14 lengths off the leader. So Saxon Rock by neat length here from Get Stuck In. Third, the inside River Flyer. Fourth, Captivator. Fifth is Tat C. Sixth, the outside is Holbrook. Alpine Dancer. A length and a half further back to Lerma Tan. Brains on the outside. Third, last Magstock. And three lengths further back to Barefoot. Second, last. And Travis D. The fence is last of all. Saxon Rock by three quarters. Still at the 600 metres marker from Get Stuck In. River Flyer. Captivator. Tat C. Next, the outside there is just in behind those Holbrook. And Alpine Dancer. Lerma Tan, Brains, Magstock, very wide. Second last, the inside, Travis D. Barefoot swings and last at the 350. Saxon Rock just in front. The outside second, Get Stuck in. The inside is River Flyer. Captivator down the outside. Likewise, Tat C and also Alpine Dancer. Saxon Rock still just in front. Wayward second, the outside, Get Stuck in. River Flyer, the inside. Later's Alpine Dancer. Saxon Rock's in front. Alpine Dancer flashing out wide and got up. Alpine Dancer on the line has nailed Saxon Rock ahead. It's a photo third. River Flyer gets stuck in. Tatsy Captivator followed by Holbrook Brains and Magstock Barefoot. The Grey Lermitan second last and Travis D was last of all. So Alpine Dancer, one final lunge on the line, has got up to grab Saxton Rock, who was doing a good job out in front, running them along, and he's been caught in the last couple of hops. There was a little bit of an incident at about the 200 metres mark. I thought Alpine Dancer might have copped a little bit of a bump from one on the inside, but he's been able to really dive late, and uh, Ronnie Stewart's been able to get him, get him up over the line there, Alpine Dancer. Uh, around about five dollars, so five into five fifty into five dollars, he's gone off. Saxton Rock was very brave there because he had uh, pressure on him all of the way, and we're just waiting for that photo for third. And you can see uh, Saxton Rock is in front, getting the better of River Flyer, who's trying to battle on, but Alpine Dancer on the outside has finished best. So well, that's the story of the last race on the card here. Alpine Dancer trained by Rob Heathcote. His horses are really going well at the moment. You can see this point here. Yeah, Tatsy, I don't know whether uh, Captivator might have just shifted a little bit. But anyway, just spurred this fellow on that little incident and he has got up to score. Now River Flyer on the inside, Captivator and Tatsy wide out. River Flyer gets third, Tatsy fourth, eight, five, 15 and seven. So we have a look at the head on in the last race on the car. Well folks, hopefully you've been able to find a few winners from Tatis or Sky Racing Recognition Stakes Day. We're back here in seven days time. You can see, uh, get stuck in. He was the horse there that shifted out badly there. Not sure what happened there, but he, he certainly uh, caused some interference to Captivator and a few others there. Yeah, we're back here next Saturday for George Moore Stakes Day. In the meantime, we're off to Perth. Alpine Dancer delivers in the last race in the first light racing colours and Rob, this horse, he's, uh, look, he's just going so well, isn't he? I mean, he, you know when you take him to the races, you pull him off the float, he's just going to give you 110% every time. Yeah, he didn't have a lot of luck last start, Sammy, and for me personally, it's a huge pleasure to train a winner for first light. I mean, I know trainers love to pump the tyres of their owners up, but they're one of our biggest stable supporters. They race horses all over Australia. Have a look behind you at this wonderful team of owners all hooping and hollering, and why not? This horse is at 18 starts he's won five times he's been in the money five times he's a good horse they nearly carried you down from the stand and, and roaring at the top of their lungs yeah look that's the excitement of racing Sammy that's what it's all about the get out stakes sure but have a look at the joy of these owners here today and look he's a horse that's had his fair, fair share of problems you know we had to do a bit of work on his breathing apparatus as a young horse but he's got the job done today and a 10 out of 10 ride by Ronnie Stewart
Full credit to Ronnie Stewart. I spoke to him earlier in the day when he arrived and he said, I galloped this horse uh, during the week. I like him and I think he can win today. Yeah, I, I agree. He worked really well and, uh, you know, the stable, we're having a little purple patch. That's how it goes. So we're just going to enjoy it and uh, open a nice bottle of red tonight. Well done, Rob. Good on you, Sammy. Awesome. There is Rob Heathcote with the First Light team and I've got a catch up with Ronnie Stewart here. Ronnie, you told me at the start of the day you were confident with this horse and I'll tell you what, he delivered. Yeah, that's right, Sam. Um, like I said, uh, if I got beat, I was going to avoid you before the races every time, but I thought you were the mock, but um, it's good to find, you know, we've had a bit of an unlucky day, so it's good for, for Rob and the team um, to get one over the line. This horse, he was very good. Uh, once he balanced up out, out wide, he just kept coming for you? Yeah, spot on. Once I could get off the off the rail, he was a lot more comfortable. I thought I was going to win a little bit more comfortable than I did. Um, he probably got a little bit lost out there, but big horse took his time to wind up, and it was a good, good effort by the stable. Well done, Ronnie. Thanks a lot.